Here's a little cold start for you guys. Oh, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> so, uh, why is this tractor in the shed like this? Uh, water pump went on it yesterday. That's why uh, I didn't get much done yesterday. <laughs> yeah, fun. It's filling up our sprayer. Yes, we're using the sprayer. Uh, I could hear something whining in the front, so I went and looked, and yeah, the uh, wiggle of the fan and the bearing in the water pump is gone. So we have to do that late last night. I didn't film none of it because it was so dark and. Uh, I tried and uh, then dad needs my help most of the time to lift things so yeah anyhow I'm gonna go put some spray in the sprayer so got the sprayer moved now some glasses on here so uh, yeah sprayers here got drips happening all over the place like usual that uh, usually stops once. They usually, well, this one here won't stop. I think our coupler is worn. And there's one right there. I don't know why it wants to keep dripping. But, uh, anyway, so we're going to mix some spray today. So these jugs right here is uh, called Startup. You know, I can show you this one better. So that's called Startup. Uh, what it is, is it's an basically an off brand of Roundup. It's Roundup but not named Roundup. But uh, it's a little bit cheaper in the long run and it does the same damn job. So uh, what we're going to be doing today is spraying some of our fields, kill some quack grass and wild oats. Uh, so uh, let's keep going. Here uh, so what happens is, you take one of these jugs, you pour it into this thing here. I go, gotta be careful not to splash this on yourself, because this is really, really deadly stuff. Well, not too deadly. The other stuff for wheat spray is really bad for you. When you get that on you, you gotta watch that off right away, else it's nasty. This, well, I don't know about this stuff, but. No Roundup, you used to be able to bathe in it, but I don't know any more if you can. But anyhow, so I'll set this up hopefully so I, you guys can see here.
So that's two jugs. Now we gotta go get some stuff, some powder. And the powder, powder is, I'll show you. Hopefully the scar holes ain't making mess. Nope. Yes, it is. Oh, that uh, won't be on. And that's a 55 acre. Uh, see, this is a powder you put on. It's just a little barren. Eh? Looks like sprinkles. Uh, 98. <laughs> oh, kazoo tight. Uh, that's, this is for five acres. Okay, this is the one we need. So, this stuff. I think we got a mix of water. This is the first time I've ever used this stuff. And blah, blah, blah. Kind of, but it wants to come to a labor at the engine. Just add water. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to add some water to this. So it's all mixed in now, the two jugs. Uh, and that little package I mixed in too. You can see on the ground, see how it's, there's a white foam? That's actually the spray itself. Yeah, I know we got drips. Uh, I don't know how we're going to fix those. We tried already once. So, I don't know. Might have to get new fittings. But that's for another day. So, this should be all ready to rock and roll. Yeah, we're just under the thousand. 650, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, so now it's got to sit and mix for 30 minutes. Because that's how the spray gets mixed into the water. So I got a few little other things to do, and uh, I'll bring you back when I start spraying. So sorry, it's a little noisy in here. I'm gonna run my tractor at a higher RPM. Uh, turns out the pump on this thing. Uh, the the PSI I want I need to run the tractor faster because it's a weird little pump on here. But uh so anyways yeah so I'm using the brand new sprayer. And I had a hose blow on it. Nothing too serious. It was more of a pain in the ass than anything. Do around here. Darling, get in trouble. I'll be too close to a bush. Don't want that. Go do around, come or outside around here. But yeah, so right now we're putting on that roundup I showed you. Where we're putting at a rate of 55 psi per so it's 55 psi these are 10 uh, oh, uh, 10 gallon tips so and each one of those little sprays you see where the mist is coming there's a little tip that does that and uh, what happened to those little tips I'll watch, I gotta pick up some tools I dropped. Oh, okay. uh, I didn't drop them, Dad dropped them. I should be shutting this off, but this is my last, pretty much my last field, so I'm trying to get rid of quite a bit of the spray. Plus, it doesn't hurt. But what we're trying to kill is any black grass and weeds in this field. Oh yeah, the Siri there is the tools. It will stop and pick those up. Get my 
my master controller. Uh, put park, idle down, turn the pump off. So pump runs off this hydraulic lead right here. So you have a bungee cord tied to it to keep it engaged. Sometimes it pops out. But so anyways, on, on the monitor here, I'll show you. So this is my main gauge right here. So this guy here, we've been you've, you've seen in the last little bit. It's been run between 50 and 60, so 55 PSI. Uh, this guy here is for your main pressure. That right now doesn't work because the guy we, we bought it from, he put the wrong thing on there. Instead of putting a pressure control valve, uh, he put a shutoff valve, electronic shutoff valve. Like, I don't know how he figured that's going to work. But anyway, so uh, up here, this is the main boom. So I can ch turn this on and off. This is a master, so this kills the whole thing. But this will shut off the main boom. Uh, this is for auxiliary booms. So if this was a 120 foot sprayer, these would be on also but we don't got that this is only 84 foot sprayer uh, these are your main booms here so I, if I turn this one off the, this side over here will shut off so and if I turn this side off that side there is shut off what it is is uh, called section control and what happens is that Cuts, if I start running over an area that's already been sprayed, I can shut these off, pin on the side, and it will allow, and I will save uh, spray. Right now, I'm not really doing that because I got lots of spray left in the sprayer. Uh, this guy here is an end nozzle. We do not have that. I would love to get that, but we don't have that. Uh, Auxiliary boom is if we have auxiliary tank, which we also don't have, and they have auxiliary pressure. We I, I removed the thing on here just because uh, we don't got it, so there's no point having power going through or anything that represents that. So, like I said, uh, this is your master. See that light is on right now. It's off, so that means the whole thing is dead. Uh, Oh, there's my piece of crap GPS. I'm about ready to throw that thing in the bush because it's not working at all. Uh, yeah. We got a little air compressor there. Yeah, panty holes. We use that for uh, on my two-inch pump to fill the tank up in the back. So uh, you put that over the end, end of the the blue line. And it filters out all the junk and all that, or it takes most of it out. The main filters take the rest, but it just helps. So these are actually what's in those tips. These are the tips I'm talking about. That's kind of what they look like. Anyways, so I'm gonna go pick up the tools that I dropped. You can see them there, and I'll be right back. Never let your dad spray, cause he drops tools all over.